Hey everyone, it's Miss Grinsel here. I'd like to say welcome to the week of writing. Things are going to be set up a little bit differently this week to make it really, really easy for you to follow without having to ask mum or dad. You're going to be responsible for your learning and you're going to be able to follow this video, rewind it if you've missed something to play it back again, so that by the end of the week, you will have a published story that you have managed to write and do all on your own. So let's get started. This is the plan for the week so you know where we're headed. You can see that today is Monday and that means that today is planning day. By the end of today, you will have a plan to help you when you start writing tomorrow. Tuesday and Wednesday, they'll both be your writing days. By Thursday, you'll be up to editing your story. And by Friday, you'll be publishing your story. And I'm just so excited to see all of the published stories come in on Seesaw so we can see these great things that you've been working on. Now, step one, today is planning day. Don't start writing the story, just get planning. So our learning intention, that's what we are learning to do in today's writing lesson is, we are learning to brainstorm ideas and plan a narrative. Another word for a narrative is a story. And by the end of today, you'll know you've been successful. That's if you've done well and you're, you've done a great job in the lesson, the success criteria, you'll know if you've done well if you can make a list of ideas, you can decide which characters will be in your narrative or story and if you can plan the problem and how the narrative will end. So we'll revisit this again at the end of our little lesson together today on video so we can see how we went. Now today, if you listen to this video and think, oh, I'm not really sure what it's asking me to do, what you need to go back and do is watch it again. Sometimes in this video, I will ask you to pause so you can do the work. That means pause it, do what I've asked you to do, and then unpause it. And it's going to be just like I am in your house with you, helping you do your writing. So I'm hoping that that's going to help you really take responsibility for your own writing this week. Okay. Now you might be thinking, what is the topic that we are writing about this week? Our topic this week is the mistake. And you can see it there. And I've got this picture of a boy because he's showing what a face might look like when someone makes a mistake. So the topic is the mistake. Step one. You need to, on a piece of paper or in the book that we gave you to work in at home, make a list of 10 ideas for stories that are about a mistake. Because we know that the first thing that you think of is usually not your best idea. If you make a list of 10 ideas, you can then choose your best one for your story this week. Now, they don't, you don't have to write down the whole story each time. It's just in little dot points. So here are some things that you could do for the mistake. Maybe one idea is about cutting your sister's hair on her birthday. And you would just write on your list in dot point, cutting sister's hair on birthday. One idea on your list. Maybe you might write down missing a goal in the grand final. And that might be an idea for a story. Maybe something in your life has happened that has been a mistake. And you can draw on that for ideas when you go to write today. So right now, I'd like you to pause this video and make a list of 10 ideas on the topic, the mistake. Once you've done that, circle your best idea and that's gonna be what you write your story on this week. Also, when you finish doing that, unpause the video and keep going. All right, well, I hope you got 10 great ideas and you've chosen the best one. Now, on the same sheet of paper where you've circled your best idea, the next thing you need to do is you need to make some decisions. You need to decide. So underneath, 
you're going to write down some ideas for who will be in your story. So that means you need to think of which characters might be there. Is it you and your family? Is it you and your friends in this story? Or is it some completely made up characters that don't exist yet? So make a little dot point list. That's just little dots in a list of who will be in your story. Then on your planning page, you need to decide what the problem in your story is going to be. Write that down on your sheet of paper so you'll have your idea for the story, who will be in the story, what the problem or thing that's going to go wrong is going to be. You need to decide how it's going to end. We've said this in class before, there's no point in getting in a car and driving and not knowing where you're going to end up. It's the same with writing. You need to know where you're going to end before you get started. And then after you know what the problem will be and how you will end your, your story, you then need to just have a little think about how you're going to start your story in an exciting way. So on your planning page, it can be really messy. This does not need to be set out neatly. You've got your ideas everywhere. You've got your idea for the story. You've got your little notes about who's going to be in the story. You've got your notes about what the problem's going to be and how you're going to fix it and how you're going to end it. And you've got some ideas written down about how you're going to start it in a very exciting way. Once you've got those down, you've got a plan. And when we start writing tomorrow and on Wednesday, you will know where you're headed and what you're going to include and then you can start to make your story a bit more exciting. The next step for today is I would like you to add a photo of your planning and brainstorming to Seesaw. And once you've added the photo, I want you to press the record button that looks exactly like this microphone. And you can record yourself explaining the story to your teacher. So you'd explain all the ideas you had and how you're going to end it, what's the problem, what's the start, so they can see your thinking. And they'll give you a little bit of feedback about that before you start writing. So pause this video now and go and add a photo and a recording all about your story to Seesaw. I can't wait to see those coming in on the Seesaw account. Okay, we're just going back to the beginning to make sure that we've had a great writing lesson together today. Remembering that we were learning to brainstorm ideas and plan. So let's just check. Did you make a list of ideas? Yeah, you made a list of 10 ideas, so you were able to do that in the lesson today. Did you decide which characters will be in your narrative? Yeah, you did. And you've added that to your planning. That's great. Did you plan the problem and how it's going to end? How you're going to solve it? Yeah, that's on your plan as well, fantastic. And the last one, did you share your plan with others? Yep, you added it to Seesaw so your teacher could give you some feedback. Now, that's it for writing today. Put your plan in a safe spot on your workspace so that tomorrow when we get to writing, you can pull it out and be ready to write. And I can't wait to see all these great ideas that you have coming in. If you want a little bit of help with what it could look like, I will put an example on the slideshow for the day as well. So you can just see, okay, that's what Ms. Grinsel's thinking about. All right, looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow.